Yes? You will be lost without me, but as you wish. I know everyone's excited by the art. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Hey. Now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. I find that to be rather surprising. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? Well, good. I'm pleased to hear that. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. Hmm. Perhaps. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. I'm not frustrated. I'm fascinated. Think about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there, somewhere? Yes, exactly. Now you understand why it's imperative that we solve this puzzle. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery. The pinnacle mystery of our time. 
Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this, whatever it is, unharmed. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. There's only so much universe to explore, boss. I've got to pace myself. Hmm? I'm right behind you. Lift off when you are, Captain. Yeah, Good to up? see you.
get bored to give us what we want, or we're gonna blow you into vacuum and take it anyway. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Another dead rock. Hmm. Well, at least we can scour the place for materials.
active.
I'm listening. Goodbye. crew accounted for. We are ready to depart. I have something for you, when you have a moment. Here. I have something for you. You're welcome. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. What can I help you with? Whatever you think is best.
really thought you'd understand where I'm coming from, Sam. Well, okay, fine. Let's see what he says. Hey, you have a second? Sam and I were just having a uh, discussion, and I wanted someone else's input. I think it's more accurate to say that you and I have now both been cornered, but sure. I'd like to, you know, get in shape, do some working out. So I asked Vladimir for some tips, and he basically said weightlifting was a bad idea. Are you sure that's what he said, or is it just what you heard? Anyway, so I wanted to get Sam's opinion on it, and he pretty much said the same thing. Okay, since now you've been fully roped into this, let's all just take a step back. I had simply pointed out that if you take a look at Mateo, weightlifting isn't necessarily the first thing that comes to mind. I was wondering whether there might be a better option for him, and just sort of musing in general about the idea of sticking to things you're inclined to, versus going out and trying something completely new. Well, what's your take on it? You think it's better to stick to what you know, or to take any opportunity to try something that's maybe outside your comfort zone? Well, there you have it. That's what I've been saying! Anyway, thanks. I think I'm gonna try it. And don't worry, I'll be sure and ask Vladimir for pointers. Hey, we'll support you no matter what. Just don't want to see you get hurt is all. Yeah, I know. Thanks. You're handling this and whole maybe, captain thing really spotter, well, you know. Yeah, we'll talk about that. So, you gotta fill me in on what happened at the temple. What happened? What did you see? Uh, sounds like we need more data to me. Then what happened? I heard you did some stuff and then you changed. Uh-huh. Hold up a second. You encountered advanced technology that altered your biology in a way that results in... In what? Superpowers? enough maybe we can run some tests later anyway thanks for filling me in on the temple and your power i wonder if we can find any more traces of whoever built them it just opens up a world of questions it's so exciting hello Cor. finally i've been bored out of my skull here Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I drink... I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. All right, fine. I need your help. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. I'm sure we have room for you on the ship, Walter. Might be cramped compared to what you're used to, but it'll get you there. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind when you have the time. You need something? <sighs> Where to begin? That temple? The hell was that? I've been from one end of the settle system to the other more times than I could count. But I've never, and I mean never, encountered something like that. Like, who built it? Why? 
So many questions. I think that just means you're sane. And what you can do? I am not a scientist, not in the least. But that ability, power, it's just plain scientifically impossible. Then who is capable of something like that? Well, forget about me. How are you? I mean, whatever happened, it could have deep physiological effects. I hope not mental. And even if everything's perfect, there... Still, I can't imagine what's going through your head. Smart. Staying focused. The other Constellation members are going to lose their minds once they hear about this. Assuming they even believe us. I am at your service, Captain. I have something for you. Hey, how are you? Anything I can help you with, Captain? Yeah, I do. How did you know?
Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. And that's it. Enjoy Neon. See that huge Matt, shield? Smell that? It's part of the power system. Incense. Lightning Industrial provides a chemicals substantial amount of neon's energy. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Chasm Bass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Some kind of checkpoint ahead. Let's let them do their job so we can move along. See that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of Neon's energy. Don't move, Nesha! What's this about? Cut the act. Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. Carrying it is all honest mistake, right? Not really my cup of tea, as it were, but I'll follow your lead.
Yeah, Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good Benjamin laugh about Bayou's it. top. It's big, all right. I'm not sure what else it is, but it's big. <laughs> the Astro Lounge spared no expense with their marketing, huh? Star Yard of the Future. This is where quality ships are made. I don't just say that because it's Stroud's business. It's all it's right. Just, I just true. need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now, I must point out the obvious. The Astral Lounge. Huh? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise.
Scram, I'm on duty. I think I got them. Can you call them? how dangerous that could be. Hey there. Welcome to Newell's. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. I understand that. But when you're dealing with a snake like Siegert, normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. The only way to fight Neon security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. Ugh, damn cyber runners. Always cutting into my business. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. Okay. I don't know much, but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. They say they don't need a programmer on board, but their shipboard system literally uses quantum synergy software to talk to the hardware. What is that not working? why this was locked.
now. into some trouble. Word to the wise. You don't want a piece of that. Aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. Here, and take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Well, perhaps something could be arranged. Glad you understand the position I'm in here. You think I'm a pushover. I'm afraid we can't budge on the price. The VIP package isn't for everyone. Excellent. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Hope to see you again.
are you looking at? 